often means that you have many servers. For example, physical servers, you have 50 servers. We're talking about 50 hardware servers. So now, virtualization actually consolidates all these 50 servers into three servers, for example. That is the virtualization in a nutshell. Uh -huh, okay. Okay? So... So using fewer servers instead of using many servers? Yes, you use uh, far fewer servers. You use fewer servers instead of using so many servers. Okay. Okay? Yes. So uh, I'll move on to the objectives of uh, this virtualization. Okay? Uh, why we go into virtualization? The first point is the current servers that we have now in Dialog is at the end of its life. And uh, most Dialog servers now are roughly seven years and above. Mm -hmm. So it's considered end of life. What does end of life mean? It means that there is no warranty left on the server. And our hardware vendors does not support the hardware anymore. Uh -huh. Take for example, if today the hard disk of the server fails, okay, and we do not have any warranty, thus the vendors will not support it. So. Uh, there's a risk of uh, downtime and uh, we'll not recover from the downtime itself. So that's the reason number one. And uh, the second reason is uh, we'll save costs for future de deployments, server deployments. Reason being, reason being is uh, imagine you have new servers. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to buy servers every time we have a new project. Uh -huh. Because virtualization, as I said, reduces the amount of hardware we need in the data center. So imagine we buy three servers, we can create multiple virtual servers in those hardware. Oh, okay. Okay? So this investment will actually protect our future uh, spendings instead of buying each uh, buying extra hardware for each of the projects okay so the third is to consolidate all the physical servers that we have now in the dialog data center why I say this is because uh, each of the servers, yes. the physical servers that we have, uh -huh. also consumes electricity, right? Uh. So imagine if there's 50 servers, it's going to consume 50 servers worth of electricity, right? For so your information? For your information, Dialog today has? Dialog today has 50 servers. Oh, 50. Yes, 50 servers. So that equates to X amount of uh, the electricity bill. You can do better than that. One server, <coughs> how many watts? Uh, one server. Uh, oh, that is yeah, I know, I know. But you can do better than that. Because you know the power consumption. Yeah. So you can calculate. Okay. Okay? okay. So assuming, assuming one server uses... Uh, one server uses uh, one kilowatts. Of uh, electricity per what? Huh? Per what? Per day? Per hour? Uh, per per week? Per month? I don't know. Uh, wow, well, it's a very hard question. Uh, uh huh. Uh, assume. assume that. Uh, <coughs> just assume lah. Just assume that uh, one one kilowatt per, per per month. Per month. Okay, one kilowatt per month. Fifty. Uh, excuse me. Five minutes or ten minutes? Five minutes already. <laughs> five minutes. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Number five. Yeah. Okay. Ten. Yeah. Yeah, five minutes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. so. So it it will cost. It costs us. Okay. It's electric it electricity consumption costs us. It will cost us uh, fifty thousand a month. Uh huh. For uh, maintaining fifty servers. So 
uh, virtualization helps by reducing the footprint to three servers. And therefore, it will reduce the electricity bill by at least 70%. Uh -huh. Okay? Yes. So, uh, that is the main reason. Okay, this... Okay, then mind, just continue. Okay. Go straight to your points now. <coughs> Go straight. Yes. Uh, just, 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 just scroll through. Okay. Okay, straight. Uh, this is the scope, actually. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, the scope that uh, is covered during uh, covered for the IT virtualization, uh, installation of 